In this video, we're going to take a look at the Whiting High and Dry Rooster Saddle. And now this is a half saddle, it's not a full one, it's been cut in half. Uh, but this saddle is really good for uh, your medium sized dry flies. So flies in your 12s, your 14s, uh, your 16s, your, your 18s. It won't go too much smaller than 18. Uh, so this cape does, or this saddle does have a little bit of limitations as far as the size that you can tie, uh, but what it makes up for is the quantity. So just one of these feathers can tie a dozen flies or so because they're so long and they are even uh, size throughout the feather. So let's say this feather here is a an 18 up here at the tip, even down here near the base, it still remains a, a size 18. So that's one of the benefits. Uh, of these saddles is it can tie a lot of flies and it's also good for uh, a beginner fly tire because these feathers are so long uh, they're easy to work with uh, you're working with you know a 14 inch feather instead of a little short uh, 3 inch feather from let's say a cape now there are some bigger feathers at the backs kind of some of these webby schlappany style feathers and these are real good for woolly buggers or streamers uh, but you're not going to get a lot of those you're just going to get a handful uh, really what you're after uh, are these dry fly quality uh, feathers here near the the front of the saddle but uh, it's available in a lot of different colors these are still fairly hard to come by because of the hair feather craze uh, still going on so what we do have uh, we get as many as we can when we can get them uh, but uh, they are still in short supply so get them while you while you can especially the grizzly color that I've got here this one's been real popular so that is the whiting high and dry rooster saddle